breakdown. Powerful cards. Okay, so as I talk about the subject of powerful cards in Yu-Gi-Oh, I'd just like to mention that usually powerful cards bring such a disgusting uh, element to the community. They really, they really like break us down, really have us fight amongst ourselves. For example, like typically when you know a part, new powerful card is released, you could get you know comments or from people talking you know similar to something like this. What the fuck is this? Or this? That's so dumb it makes me mad. Maybe, maybe, possibly, some of this? This is bullshit. You can get my personal favorites, which is this. What is this? Cancer? This is toxic. Okay, now that I've talked about how the community views powerful cards, Let's now get into the subject of powerful cards and how do we make it easier for you to understand. So there are all sorts of powerful cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's some powerful cards that use the ability of tuners, you know? You get some other powerful cards that use the that just negate loads of monster effects. You can get they range from tuner enablers to playmakers all kinds of things but now let me talk about a particular purple card known as Dragoon okay so bear with me as I showcase to you Dragoon okay here is Dragoon of Red Eyes in front of me so let's talk about it Dragoon of Red Eyes let me state its effect you need a Dark Magician, or a Red Eyes Black Dragon, or a Dragon Effect Monster. It's a fact. Neither player can target this card with card effects. Also, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. During your main phase, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack. You can use this effect a number of times per turn, up to the number of normal monsters used as fusion material for this card's summon. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect, you can discard one card, negate the activation. And if you do, destroy that card. And if you do that, this card gains 1000 attack points. Hold up! Wait a minute! Somebody back! And you know, like, reading this card, you know, it brought up a lot of feelings. You know, as, as I'm sure, like, feelings tend to come about when, you know, we as Yu-Gi-Oh players read, you know, some cards. And I can tell you initially, you know, when I saw this card, I'm, th I'm thinking like, you know, Konami! Why did you do this? You know better, right? Why? Alrighty then. So when it comes to powerful cards, as you know, competitive players are going to be like... <laughs> <laughs> Everything is perfect. <laughs> okay, so let me, let's recap. Remember, when it's about powerful cards, the way to stop them is one activation condition. By you understanding a card's activation condition, right? You can understand the way to prevent its effect from activating in the first place. Boom! Drop the mic! The monster is, is its summon condition. So if you know the, the requirement that it needs to be summoned, right? You can shed a light on that set situation and possibly you could stop its summon. So if it's something like Dragoon of Red Eyes, for example, you could remove one of the fusion materials with a card like Herald of the Abyss. This is an example of stopping this way of summoning. The other way is to simply remove the card's target. So if the card has an effect of destroying a card or negating a card in DC, if there is no card to destroy or there is no card to negate on the field in the first place, then it cannot resolve. So that is another way of stopping 
powerful cards. Okay, I think that's about covered it. I have spoken. Oh, there's one more thing, sir. You are now one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My fate is in your hands. Like and subscribe. Hate and subscribe. You could decide to not subscribe at all. The choice is yours. Goodbye.